on Thanksgiving? Greed melts like a pat of butter in a mound of smashed potatoes. Now, I never thought I'd see the day you'd run a 10K for charity. It's cardio. Now, with heart, man, we raise big bucks for the homeless. Hey, did I just hear big bucks for the homeless? Very nice. Now, what about that 50K you owe your old man? Hmm? Look at those faces. Whatever, it's Thanksgiving, huh? We settle up later. I'm gonna take a shower. Oh, where are you gonna take your father for Thanksgiving dinner, huh? And I am thinking turkey and all the trimmings. <laughs> In the spirit of the pilgrims and their Native American brothers, it's a day of peace and harmony. Good thing you're here. Um, I just got a message from James asking me what he should bring for Thanksgiving dinner. That was, that was nice of him. If he were coming, which he isn't, right, Lang? Okay, so I invited Ford to Thanksgiving dinner, and he asked if he could bring his brother. How could you do that? Oh, what is the problem? Well, James knows that you're just friends, right? Right. So... Unless you're still into him. On Thanksgiving, we strip the... Are you sure Langston cleared this with Star? Man, I really think she doesn't want to see me. Don't worry. I'll smooth it over for you. You're not invited. Ooh, whoa, not invited? What? Hey, whoa, whoa, I'm your own man. You know, I raised you, me, myself, Eddie. You mean you're not going to give your old man bird on Thanksgiving? Huh? What? Bobby, maybe I should just stay No, here. you're coming with me. Bye, Eddie. <laughs> hey, uh, Dad, uh, I hear that they do a great bird down at the diner. The diner? By myself? On Thanksgiving? Unacceptable. I am not into James, Langston. <sighs> So, then what about the other night, hmm? The other night, he made me feel better for a while, okay? Until Hope woke up and I came crashing back into reality. Okay, I know that this sounds harsh, but Cole's in jail and, and you're not. You and Hope can't stop living your lives. You know, Marty's gonna wanna see Hope for Thanksgiving, so I'll just go for that. Start, you can't stop having fun just because you feel guilty about Cole. So, since when are you and Ford close enough that you invited him over for Thanksgiving dinner? We're not, but that's the point. I want to get to know him, see if I can trust him. Because right now I don't. Not yet, anyway. But in six months, we'll see. What happens in six months? Well, if he's proved himself, I lift the ban on sex. No sex for six months? Yep. That's not bad. It'll be 10 years until I can be with Cole. So have you not heard anything that I've just... You better go get that. I gotta go to Marty's. Uh... Hey. Hi, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, I'm Good to you. see you. Good to see you too. Hi. 179 days. Star, hey, wait, wait, wait. I thought I, I just want you to know that I heard you the other night, okay? You need your space. Oh, it's just, I'll be a lying, me. cheating, low down man. Sorry, Blair, I shouldn't have pushed you. What's he doing here? Trying to get into Langston's pants. Actually, he's not, Blair, um, but we are dating. Ugh. I thought he cheated on you. <laughs> when you were cheating on Marco with him. Oh, you have been paying attention, yes. I yes, that is the gist of it. He's changed. Right. We've both changed. And he deserves to be with a warm, loving, non-judgmental family instead of with his bully of a father. This gentleman just came to the kitchen door saying he was invited to the Kramer Lord Thanksgiving feast. Toast to the family? Anyone? You followed 
Chris here? Dad, uh, it's time to go, Dad. Wait a minute, is this man your father? He tried to have you killed. Oh, no, big misunderstanding. See, in fact, that's why I came to town here. I want to make it up to my boy. And I'm sure you can understand that because you've probably had run-ins or two or three with your kids too, right? A run-in? Please, you used to beat James when he was growing up. That's the reason why he left home in the first place. And not to mention he put a hit out on you. You cannot believe a word that this man said. And you would know what exactly about raising kids. My daughter happens to have a beautiful daughter of her own. Thank you very much. Oh, whoa. Somebody started young. Whoa, that, that's enough, Dad. You say one more word about starting. I'm talking about her mama. You are much too young to be a grandmother. Well, I see where you get your fatal charm, Ford. Mm. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That wasn't a compliment. All right, I think you've overstayed your welcome here. Now, you can pretend to be a gentleman and leave by yourself, or James and I can throw you out. <laughs> you sure that's the way you want to play it? You better watch out for yourself, kid, or this little slut will have your ring. Oh, Some of the guys that's here. Enough. That's enough. Take her. Hey, be See. careful. Why? Oh, 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 Let me go. And who are you again? Shut up. You're not going anywhere. I've called the police. You're going to be arrested. Oh, thank heaven you're here. Come on and arrest that man. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, what do you know? It's the commish. Come to make good on his little promise. What happened here, Mayor? Uh, well, this Bulgarian is virtually trespassing. I certainly didn't invite him in. When he was politely asked to leave, he, 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 he brutally punched that young man. Is that true? It, on, honestly, it, it was nothing. I'm okay. Hey, James, what about your eye? It was a brutal attack. Cuff him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, son. Tell him it was just a big holiday misunderstanding, right? I don't think anybody misunderstands what happened here. Mr. Ford, you punched your son. Well, you can't arrest me for that. Watch me. You know, buddy boy, you're going to pay for this on top of what you already owe me. A pleasure, Mayor. James. Hey, I'm gonna go talk to you. No, I'll go. Why didn't you tell Bo, the police commissioner, what your dad did to you? Sir, you heard him. Can you just, it just makes things worse. He's just gonna commend me harder. I, I get that it was hard for you growing up, but you're free now. Free? Star, am I, am I free? Look at my face. Okay, is it is that free? God, I came to a nice house with with nice people to have a nice a nice meal, and he shows up and he humiliates me in front of everyone, in front of everyone. He's never, never gonna let me go. It's just the way it is. He's got the power, and I don't. Okay, it's useless. It's useless. That's that's what he used to call me, useless. And you know what? He's right. He's right because I thought stealing 50 grand and running away would get rid of him forever. Talk about useless. You're not useless, James. James, look at me. You're wonderful. Listen to me. I promise that you are not alone, okay? You have your brothers and your mother and you have me. Come on, let's go have Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Most of all, I am grateful to the Native Americans for teaching us a new way, how to survive a harsh environment, how to reach out to each other when we're in need, how to be gentle, how to be kind. Hmm. Okay, who's hungry? I am. Here, here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It was a very tough 